Welcome back to MS Tech, and today we'll be taking a look at a budget mini projector to see if for 120 American dollars, you're able to create your own 170 inch mini home theater. The projector we'll be taking a look at today is the QKK QK02 mini projector. Let's start off with the design of this mini projector. Being advertised as a mini projector, obviously size matters in this case. It's 7.7 .7 inches by 5.5 .5 inches by 2.7 inches, plus or minus 0.3 inches. Here it is against an iPhone XR. As you can see, it's pretty compact, enough to take around comfortably in your backpack due to it being lightweight, coming in at only 4.04 pounds. As for ports, you're given an audio out, AV, full-size SD, two USB inputs for media, HDMI, and VGA, which I didn't know people still used. Now there's quite a few things inside of the box. You have the QK02 projector itself, a 100 inch portable projector screen, a 1.5 meter HDMI cord, a remote control, a power cable, and finally a one meter AV cable. The build quality of this projector is what you would expect for $120. Very plasticky. It's hard to describe, so here's some audio. I recommend headphones for the best experience. As for buttons, you've got your usual navigation buttons. Below that, the menu, return, source, and power buttons. These don't feel as premium. Here's how they sound. On the front, there's a lens cover, and on the bottom, there is a standard quarter inch thread for mounting, and a screw knob for adjusting your angle and finally some IR sensors and a two prong power input on the back. And that pretty much covers up the design and build of the projector. Moving on to our experiences with this projector. They've been pretty satisfactory so far. In near perfect lighting conditions where the room is pretty dark, the colors are vibrant enough and the pixels aren't really noticeable from a distance. When immersed in a film or video, the 1080p resolution at 100 inches wasn't a distraction and I was really satisfied with the result. Of course, sitting closer to the screen, you can start to see pixels, but that is not really what a projector is meant for. One other thing we did notice was that the edges of the display were blurry at times, even though the center was still in focus. Now, it wasn't anything major, but it is something to take note of. In not so great lighting conditions, where some outside light was bleeding in, it was barely good enough. It kind of made me want to gloss over to my laptop to see what the picture was really like. Despite the 4,500 lumens that it claims to produce, it honestly wasn't enough for me. One other thing about this projector, which we haven't mentioned before, was the noise that it produces. And again, this is just my own opinion, and it's not a deal breaker, but before I explain, here's a sound test of the fan. Yes, it may sound annoying, but when fully immersed in a film, honestly, my mind filtered out the fan noise and I was able to enjoy whatever I was watching. The projector also has some built-in speakers, but trust me when I say that you are much better off using anything else. You know what? Take a listen for yourself. We hope our opinion helped you in making a decision whether or not this is something you'd consider. If you want to get a mini projector, then honestly, for $120, this is a really good option because it's a lot different than a TV and overall it creates a much nicer theater atmosphere in your house. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this type of content, drop a like and subscribe and also check out our channel, Tech Barn. The link to that is in the description below. All support is appreciated. This has been MS Tech, and as always, stay classy.